Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I'll be taking a look at the Robin and Batmobile from the Imaginex Teen Titans Go series. Uh, personally I'm not a huge Teen Titans Go fan. Uh, I don't have a problem with it or anything, it's just not a show I uh, typically watch. But uh, some Eagle Eye viewers out there might notice that this Batmobile is actually modeled after the 1989 Batman movies Batmobile. So I was really excited. Um, I've loved that Batmobile since I was a kid. That was kind of the big Batman movie when I was young. Uh, and I love the design of that Batmobile. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. It also comes with this Robin in kind of a makeshift Batman suit, which is kind of uh, goofy. I don't know if that's something he does on the show or not. But pretty cool. Standard uh, open packaging here for Imagine X Toys. A little cool graphic of Robin down here in his normal outfit. Not really anything going on in the bottom. When we spin it around, you can see it says, Who's behind the wheel of the Batmobile? It looks like Batman, but it's really Robin. Dressed like the Cape Crusader, complete with hair quaffed in a cowl. Seems he was out for a spin and crash. Can he fix it before Batman finds out? Fasten your seatbelts, young titans. It's about to get wheel exciting. Ah, I love a good pun. Wheel exciting. That's pretty good. <laughs> So you can see it has a firing missile. It has the ability for the wheel to pop off. We'll take a look at all that, but that's actually pretty hilarious. Wheel exciting. I love that. Then you have a uh, quick peek here at some of the other themes. You have Teen Titans Go, DC, uh, Power Rangers, and then this is the kind of Egyptian desert uh, adventure theme that they have going on here. So very cool. We'll go ahead. We will get this out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look. So here is Robin and the Batmobile. Uh, very, very cool. I really do like the look of this Batmobile. But before we dive in too much, we'll take a quick look at the Robin figure. Because I think they did a pretty good job with this as well. Um, the paint on mine, at least on the face, is a little messy. But I think that's just mine. You can see he's making kind of like a scowl, I guess, to do a Batman impression, which is kind of hilarious. And if you take a, a look at the back, it is actually his hair that I guess he's moosed up to look like bat ears. So he's not wearing a helmet. That's actually his hair, which is pretty hilarious. And then it kind of looks like his normal Robin suit, but uh, in Batman colors. Standard articulation, arms can move up and down and also spin around. You have a spin at the wrist, 90 degrees at the waist. And then he's got a very tiny, thin little cape, which is black on one side and gold on the other. So it's a pretty cool little figure. I definitely think that the hair moosed up to look like bad ears is probably my favorite part. I think that's hilarious. So if we just put him off to the side for the moment, we can take a look at the Batmobile. It does come with two of these missiles in case you lose one, which I appreciate. Uh, but only one can fit in the car at the time. So you put that in the middle. Now if you come underneath, you'll see this red piece here, which we'll get to in a moment. But it's a very, very cool design. And like I said, it's very reminiscent of that Batmobile from the first 1989 Tim Burton Batman movie. The front definitely looks like it. The back looks like it. The only thing I think is different is um, obviously it wasn't open top. It had a kind of canopy piece that came down. So if they made a canopy piece that you could extend on this, it would look exactly like it. I think just for the sake of putting figures in and out for kids to make it easy, they decided to, you know, make it open. But otherwise, it's really, really neat. I like this design a lot. So you can take your Robin figure, bend him at the waist, and then he pops inside. Let me see if I can put his hands up so it looks like he's driving. And he'll fit inside here a little bit easier. Get his cape to get down in there. There we go. So there you go. You have Robin driving the Batmobile. So basically, the two main play features for this Batmobile. Uh, you can see the red button on the top and that fires the missile. And it fires pretty well, I have to say. That really does uh, fire with some gusto. It really does fly out of there. So that's cool. The other thing is you can see here you have these two gray pieces here. So if you press the gray piece, and that's supposed to be when he slams into a wall, what's going to happen is the wheel is going to fire out. And also you can see this red piece will extend down, and that's kind of like a jack. So as soon as he hits, it's going to fire out the wheel and then kind of stop him so he can't drive with just uh, three wheels. Because technically, with this toy, you probably could drive with just three wheels. 
So they put that out as a way to kind of stop him from moving around. Now, as soon as you push the wheel back in, and it kind of works like a missile, once you insert the wheel back in, the red piece automatically goes right back in. So then you're ready to go. But say, for example, he hits a wall, <laughs> he has to stop. I think it's a pretty cool little play feature. I think that's pretty fun. And it's executed well. I appreciate that. You don't have to push that in yourself. As soon as you push the wheel back in, it automatically clips back in. So very nice. And like I said, you do have the extra missile in case you lose the one that's in there. Rolls fairly well, which I appreciate. You can see this is the giant turbine engine molded in there. Doesn't do anything. There's no flame piece or plastic flame that comes out of there, but you just have to pretend to use your imagination. But yeah, I really do enjoy this Batmobile. I think the Robin figure is pretty cool. Uh, and like I said, it has two really nice play features with the firing missile and then the slamming into the wall, making the wheel pop off. <laughs> I think that's a really nice attention to detail. You have some tiny little bat symbols painted here. Which I think look pretty good. The blue is a nice color scheme. I probably would have liked just all in black because that would have resembled the movie a little bit more. But I understand they wanted to maybe go with something a little bit brighter for kids, make it more fun. I think the color scheme that they ultimately chose works well. And it's just a really nice homage to the Tim Burton Batmobile. So I really like it a lot. For that reason alone, for the nostalgia in me, I like this one a lot. But I think even for kids who don't know that movie, it's a fun Batmobile, nice play features, nice color scheme, and the Robin figure included is pretty well done. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'd like to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. But I think this is a really great set and totally worth picking up. So sound off down below. Let me know what you guys think. Please like and share the video. Please subscribe. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at Robin and Batmobile from Teen Titans Go! Imagine X. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.